Hey everybody, this is Paul with RC Foam Fighters. We're getting ready to test out the Monster Motor, the 2100 kV uh, version of it. I've got it on my old uh, Nova Jet. Um, this should be a lot more aerodynamic plane than the old uh, Foam Fighters 117 that we flew last time with the uh, other Monster Motor. Uh, basically, we got it in here with the 7.6 prop. We're running a 3S LiPo pack rated at 45C. We're going to do a watt and amp meter test and see what type of numbers we get with the 7.6 prop. Okay, it's about 700 watts, and let's see, let's let it circle around. Okay, maximum 64 amps, and 706 watts. Um, it did seem like it settled down to right about 60 amps on full throttle after it ran for a couple seconds. And that's with a 7x6 prop, right? Yeah. All right, everybody, this is the big question that everybody's been asking, um, how these monster motors would run on a 4S LiPo pack. Um, the guys at Gracie are telling me it's not rated for 4S, okay? So if anybody does get these motors and decide to run it at 4S, you're kind of doing it at your own risk. Um, just to see what it'll run like, me and Frank do have a 4S pack in here rated at 40C. It's an 1850 pack. So um, we got a 6 5.5 prop on here. We're going to run it up and see what the numbers are. And again, this is the 2100 kV version of the Monster Jet. <laughs> Like yeah, it sounded like it was screaming. Um, looks like the amps weren't so bad. Um, 859 Holy watts. Cow, Let's see what the amps are. Maximum amps of only 60 amps. Sweet. So that's actually a little bit lower than what was running with the 3S with the uh, 7x6 prop. And it definitely sounded like that thing was winding up like a madman. What was so, the voltage drop on that? Um, let's see. 13.89 was the lowest voltage from uh, 16.45 is what we're at now. Yeah. We're only running an 18 50 milliamp battery, yeah. so you might want to run like a 2200. Yeah. So, But we're putting that in there because it's roughly about the same weight as a 2200, so we can keep CG. Um, we don't plan on running full throttle for a long time, but uh, let's get out to the field and see how these things run. Okay guys, hey, we got the other monster jet um, that we got from Grayson Hobby. This is the uh, prototype pre-production. This is the 2100 kV motor. Um, we have a 7x6 prop on here, and I have it mounted to my Nova jet. Um, this should be a lot more aerodynamic than the um, FF117 that we tested the other motor on last week. Um, so let's see what type of numbers we get out of this 2100 kV motor on 3S LiPo pack first. And then um, after that, if this flight goes, goes goes good we're gonna put a 4s pack in there um, it's not really recommended by Grayson to run 4s but we're gonna try it out anyway and see what type of uh, numbers we can get and uh, see how fast the plane is um, it is a little windy today there is gusts up to about 10 miles an hour so this could be a little bit a uh, <laughs> crazy flight but let's see how it goes Okay, that's about half throttle there. I'm going to come at us and do a full throttle pass. Dang, man, that thing's screaming. This thing's moving pretty good. I don't know, what do you think, Frank? Maybe in the 90s? Uh, let me get another good look at it, man. Okay, here we go, another full throttle pass. Um, I think that's <laughs> triple digits, man. <laughs> okay, that is with a little bit of a tailwind. So the numbers will be a little bit skewed today because of the strong winds, uh, but it looks like it's got pretty good performance on a 3S LiPo pack. How does it feel to you, Paul? Feels pretty good. Um, the windy conditions are making it feel a little uh, rough, but the plane definitely feels like it's got uh, a lot of power. Dang, man. <laughs> I keep losing you when you, you get do that. that? <laughs> Okay, ready? Definitely got unlimited vertical. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's come back down. I 
definitely think it's moving better than the F-117 was, though. <laughs> Did I lose again? <laughs> hey, don't fly right over the top of us, man. Try and stay out in front. I can't follow you when you do that. Okay guys, I'm gonna bring it in we can check the numbers on the GPS. I'm gonna bring it around that way and bring it in towards us. Okay guys, looks like we have the GPS plugged in for a total of six minutes and 30 seconds. Let's see what type of numbers we got. Flew 3.34 miles, 111 miles an hour on 3S. on 3S pack. That is with a, a, a tailwind, so you're probably looking right around triple digits, I would think, um, on a 3S lipo pack with a 7.6 prop. Not bad. All right, guys, this is the uh, question y'all were asking, um, running the Monster Jet 2100 KV motor on 4S lipo pack. Again, Grayson doesn't recommend it. It wasn't in the uh, specs to run on 4S, but we're going to run it anyway. We did some static tests on the bench. And it was actually pulling only 60 amps on the 4S pack with a 65.5 prop. Okay, let me get this thing ready. That's still only about, that's about a little less than half throttle. That was full throttle. It does feel a little bit less um, thrusty than with the 7x6 prop. The battery might be a little on the cold side too. Yeah. It's kind of cool today. After a couple passes, it should warm up. I don't know, does that look much faster to you? Not really. No, it looks probably about the same as with the 3S. So I think the thrust uh, from the larger prop is probably about equaling what it is with this uh, smaller prop at a higher speed. When we get down, we'll be able to tell better when we see the GPS numbers. And we are only running an 1,850 milliamp battery, right, Frank? For yeah. us, it's a little bit smaller, so it's probably stressing that battery quite a bit. But um. That's the biggest battery I could fit in the plane um, to get CG the same as with the 3S. Yeah, if you're going to run a 4 cell, I'd recommend getting like a higher C battery than a 40C. Either like a 45, uh, what was it, 4590C or not. Okay, ready? Here we go. That is one of my older batteries, too. Woohoo! <laughs> get that Dang, out of there, man. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Get some distance in there, right? Yeah. That thing's still hauling, man. Yeah, it's booking.
And actually, it feels like the winds have died down, so I don't think we're getting as much of a push yeah, from the wind. Definitely doesn't feel as much. Maybe as it did. five miles an hour right now. Oh. Yeah, you're running out of juice. Yeah. <laughs> oh crap! Let's bring her home. <laughs> I don't know if we hit lockout or what. Uh, we might have got warm. Yeah. The battery. That's a smaller battery too, so you're not going to get yeah. as long a fly time. Coming in hot with the wind. Yeah. All right, let's see what the numbers are. You're on. Okay, guys, we had the GPS plugged in for five minutes, 22 seconds. Um, I look, it sounded like I kind of hit shut down, so I think the battery might have been starting to fade out already. 3.94 miles we flew. 116.8 miles an hour. So it was a little bit faster on the 4S um, with a 6.5.5 prop. So we picked up a little over five miles an hour. Yeah, I think the prop speed was quite a bit higher, but as far as thrust goes, the thrust was pretty close to the same as with the yeah. 7x6. Yeah, and to me, it definitely felt like the 7x6 prop on 3S um, gave the uh, plane more get up and go, um, seemed more authoritative. Um, we'll probably come back and we're going to test out the uh, plane with the uh, 2400 kV motor of this probably in the next video. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Okay, guys, we're back from the flying field. And all I can say is, wow, those are pretty uh, impressive numbers from this new Monster Jet motor. Um, again, this is the 2100 kV prototype motor. So there might be a little bit of variance when the uh, final motors do come uh, available for sale on Grayson Hobby. And the guys at Grayson Hobby told me they should be available around the end of February, early March. So um, kind of start looking for them around then. Hopefully they'll be ready for all you guys' uh, springtime builds. Uh, but overall, uh, definitely impressed with the uh, speeds we got out of it. Um, even with all the ugly tape I had on here, the extra tape to hold the canopy down, I just wanted to make sure it wouldn't blow off. And also had some tape kind of on here to hold the GPS on. I'm sure if you had a more aerodynamic plane, even than this one, you might even pick up some more uh, miles per hour. Um, I was also very impressed. We were pushing this motor higher than what the uh, recommended amps were. Uh, it's only recommended to run it at about 55 amps max. And we were pushing it roughly around 60 amps, maybe even a little bit more on the burst. Um, it was a fairly cold day in about the 50 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, maybe 55 degrees Fahrenheit. And the motor did come down cool with both the 4S and the 3S packs. Um, it was only lukewarm. It wasn't hot or anything. So I think it could definitely handle it on cold days like that. But maybe on hot days in the middle of summer, you probably want to prop down and run a more milder setup. Uh, but overall, you know, that was the uh, first test of the 2100 kV version of the Monster Jet. Please stay tuned. We're going to do more tests with the 2400 kV motor and uh, maybe you can put it on this plane or some other planes coming up in the future. Oh, one last thing before you guys go, just kind of a teaser. Here is the new uh, foam board plane that I'm working on um, specifically for the Monster Jets. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to call it yet. I might <laughs> just call this the FF uh, Aurora, kind of bring back the Aurora that I was working on a while back. It's got kind of the uh, same fuselage as my FF Bop. And um, it's got a KF2 airfoil on it, and it's fairly aerodynamic. Um, I do have a little bit of scoops down here that'll probably be a little bit of drag, but overall, I try to keep everything, you know, pretty uh, smooth lines and aerodynamic. I just got to throw on the uh, top canopy on here and the vertical stabilizers and the elevons, and then we'll uh, put all the electronics in it. So um, look forward to this coming in the beginning of the new year, guys. So happy new year and. Uh, Hope all you guys have a great uh, New Year's Eve celebration and a good, happy uh, 2012 coming up.